So you got a Steam Deck and the touchscreen stopped working. Thankfully, unless it is physically damaged, for example crashed, this is not a hardware problem, but rather a software problem, which could be very easily fixed. All you need to do is first disconnect the Steam Deck from USB power. After you do that, you will have to somehow shut down the Steam Deck. There are many ways to do that. You can use the menu, controlling it with the D-pad. You may hold the power button for over 12 seconds. The fastest way I found is to hold power and volume up button, and this will shut down Steam Deck very fast. After that, you need to release and press back power and volume plus button and hold them until Steam Deck enters UEFI. Basically, this is the Steam Deck bias. The touchscreen obviously doesn't work. You may try to control the cursor with the touchpads if they still work, and if they don't, you will have to use the D-pad and the buttons to open the menus. Here you need to open the menu which is called Power, select and activate a mode which is called battery storage. When you activate this mode, the Steam Deck's LED indicator will blink three times. That means it is in battery storage mode. Now you have to take the original charger. Aftermarket chargers may still work, but I strongly advise you to use the original charger that came with the Steam Deck. So all you need to do is to basically plug the charger in the socket and into Steam Deck. It should automatically power on, if it doesn't, press the power button. When the Steam Deck finishes booting on, the touchscreen will be working just fine. As I said in the beginning of this video, this thankfully is not a hardware problem, it's a software problem, and uh, somewhere along the line, Valve should release a BIOS update for Steam Decks, that will fix this issue. So look around for BIOS updates for your Steam Deck. I am the god of YouTube. Like, subscribe, thanks, jingle bells.